you know, the first thing they said is, so Tank, welcome to Wrestler's Court. And uh, that was, you know, JBL. And uh, basically, I was asked, so Tank, tell me, if your partner wants to dance with a guy till the early hours of the morning to become better at his, you know, gimmick, why wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you go and dance with him? Uh, and I just thought to myself, holy shit, Chad, did you just throw me under the bus? Uh, and I thought, well, I'm just going to be honest here. And so I said, you know what? I'll tell you. It's just, it, I said, not, nothing, I said nothing against it, but I said it just felt gay to me. And I just, it, I just, it felt gay. And they looked at me, shook their heads. And then they were like, you're goddamn right, Chad. Admit you're a faggot. You know, they dropped the F-bomb on him and uh, you admit you're gay, you're a faggot, you're, you know, and uh, it's like, holy shit. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, here it comes. And uh, I mean, I felt relieved that they weren't coming after me now. But at the same time, I was like, shit, they're going after him. And uh, and he's like, I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I swear. I swear. I'm not gay. And and then he started crying. And once he started crying, uh, they're like, you know, throwing the napkins up in the air. There's no crying and wrestling. What are you? What the hell? What's wrong with you? Your mama's boy. Faggot. You know that kind of stuff, and um, and uh, and he's like, I swear I'm not gay, I'm not gay, and 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 he's crying. And you're like, all right, calm down, calm down, stop crying, stop crying, do some jumping jacks, do some push ups. So he's crying, doing jumping jacks and push ups and all that stuff, and then and uh, and and Orlando Jordan is like, Chad, if anyone knows gay, I know gay, and you're gay, and uh, so basically, you know, he's he's upset about that whole thing, and and he's just trying to defend himself now, and so you know they're having their fun with it. And they're saying so, and they knew that that we already had some some issues as far as uh, you know, not good chemistry. And so, like Chad, so Tanks Tanks says he's the captain of the of the team. And uh, so, what's the deal here? If why are you letting him call the shots? Why why don't you be a man and call some of the shots? Why don't you tell him that you're going to call the shots? And so they're goading him in to try and say you know, trying to get him to to stand up to me, and uh, which it wasn't. I didn't ever try to make it like that to begin with, but basically bottom line is uh, they get him to, to say to me, tank, I'm a man. And from now on, I'm going to call the shots too. And I get to have equal say and blah, blah, blah. And he's just going, oh my God, oh my God. And, and so they say, basically they're like tank. So you guys have had some, some issues out there uh, and just got to know why haven't you guys fought? And I said, uh, I said, we just haven't fought. I mean, they had heard that, you know, I had pulled over the car on the side of the road and wanted to beat his ass because he had talked behind my back to Stephanie about about gimmicks that, you know, he should have cleared with me first about, you know, about, you know, th things. But uh, so I think they got caught wind that how frustrated I was with the situation. And um, and so they tried to go him into a fight and they said to me, uh, they said, why, why haven't you ever fought him? I said, I just haven't. And they said, why not? I said, I don't know. Just have, I just I just haven't. Try, I'm trying to work through this, you know, and they said, Chad, why haven't you fought him? And he's like, I just haven't. And he's trying to, you know, say and then he goes, tell me why. He goes, I'll tell you why. Because my mama taught me to walk away from a fight. And then they just lose their shit. They're like, your mom, your mom, you can't bring your mom into this. You can't bring your mom into wrestling. And uh, you're, you're a mama's boy, little faggot, queer motherfucker. And drop the I mean, going off on him. It was pretty terrible. Uh, and I, I felt bad for him, but I was like, at this point, I was like, man, you brought this on yourself. I told you not to bring that damn freaking camcorder. And so they said, Chad, you need to stand up to him right now and hit him. You need to hit him. And so, you know, eventually after minutes and minutes of just beating him down, he's like, stands over top of me. I'm sitting in my seat and I'm, he's like, ah, oh, tank, tank. And he's got his back to the boys. Right. And he's like, ah, oh, tank. He's like, he's gonna like wind up and hit me. And, and he like literally looks at me and he winks and he goes, and he's like, he's like, go with it, like type of thing. Right. And they see him wink and they said, whoa, whoa, did you just wink? Did you, are you trying to plan a fake fight? You can't, you can't plan a fake fight with, against the boy, the boy, this is what we do. He's like, you can't plan a fake fight. And I was like, oh my God, this, he's just burying himself further and further and further. So Luckily, you know, at that point, it was getting real late. I, I was like, hey, guys, would you mind if I go to the bathroom real quick? They're like, no, no problem. Go ahead. I go to the bathroom. 
as I'm going to the bathroom, I'm just finishing up and he busts in the door and he's like, tank, tank, please, you got to help me. Please, you got to help me. Please, please, please. I was like, Chad, what do you want me to do? You, you really, you know, you've done it good this time. And he's like, he's like, just let me hit you one time, please. And I was like, are you out of your damn mind? I said, if I let you hit me, then I become the pussy ass bitch. And I said, I can't, I can't do that. I was like, you got to find a way to dig yourself out, man. And he's like, please. And I was like, no, I was like, I can't. And I was like, look, dude, figure it out, man. And I walk out, I walk out. And as I'm walking out, all those guys are walking in, you know, Undertaker and, and, and Animal and uh, JBL and, uh, and Benoit. And, you know, they're all walking in there. Oh, I, I, was Booker T there? He's there the next one. But anyway, bottom line, they all walk in, they're going to the bathroom and I'm waiting there. Now I'm waiting near right outside the bathroom. There's an elevator and I'm just waiting there, hoping, hoping that they'll say, all right, let's wrap this up and, and call it a night. So I'm waiting there and, you know, Chad's once again, begging me. And this, to this point now, I, and I, I, I shit you not. He's on his hands and knees looking up at me and saying, please let me hit you one time. Please let me hit you one time. And I felt so bad for the guy. But at the same time, I was like, this, this guy, I, there's no getting through to him. I was like, I, I, I'm like, you're in for it. So he, he basically um, is begging me. And I'm wondering, like, where are these guys at? Like, why aren't they out of the bathroom yet? And then meanwhile, as you know, as, as, you, as you heard the story, for those who haven't, they're in the bathroom and Undertaker goes to open the door. And as he goes to open the door, looks back at the guys and said little bastard locked us in which from what i understand was they they started dying laughing he went from being so buried to like just being over as a motherfucker right i mean he was over they loved him they thought that was it was great he they, he turned the tables that's all it took for him to do was to, to to turn the tables was him for him to do that because they thought it was awesome but the one person that hadn't gotten locked out was Orlando Jordan, and he was going to the bathroom. He saw it was locked. He unlocked it, and they came out. And when he came, they came out, they saw Chad up down on his knees begging me. And so he went from being down, buried, to being over, to go even further down than ever before. And uh, that was that. And then uh, they're like, all right, this is, this is pathetic. And so let's call it a night. So we all get on the elevator, and Chad's now just like, I mean – like inconsolably crying on the elevator as we're going up and they're just like nudging him in into him and bumping him and 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 I was just like god this is terrible and um I did feel bad for the guy how bad he's being you know bullied at that moment uh and then like they're all getting off all getting off and then finally like Chad Chad's getting off in his room and I, I go off because I was like I said I felt so bad for this guy's like they're I'm scared he, what he might do to himself. Uh, it just seemed like he was in such a bad place. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go and calm him down and stuff. So went back to his uh, to his room and, and said, hey, dude, like I tried to have a long talk with him, tried to calm him down, and say you can't let him get to you like that. So that's what happened that night. 